Baisu Jail Commander Timbi Kauga received the mission and acknowledged the provincial government that the school will comply with the Correctional Services Rehabilitation Programs. Mr. Kauga said the school will give the prisoners the opportunity to have a second chance in life. Kauga said most of the time prisoners are being locked up and forgotten. Baisu Jail will be one of the first correctional service centers in Papua New Guinea to build its prisoners her high school. It is the Western Highlands Provincial Government's vision to make education a core pillar. The provincial government will only support those who are taking the ownership to build new high schools in the area. The provincial government will support by providing materials such as roofing tops, iron posts, cement, sawmill and electricity. The community can provide free land, free timbers and free carpenters to build a school. So far, the province has 26 high schools and more than eight secondary schools. Now, um, Governor, he stopped inside from this land. Last five years, 16 people come up. Now, these five years, we believe we would have another five or six long make him up number and then we close up high schools. The provincial government led by Governor Pai Swing T is supporting the national government's policy to make education accessible and affordable to every child. They are supporting that drive by building high schools in each district and community in the province. Put the medication number one now. Lord, this let thing thing long education him come up number one. Me look seven hours and two blah machine is up. Look seven or this land is supporting me blow education team. Blow, make him all this like kind of tools, blow, build him school uh, available on all community need him long. A primary school at Pabrabook in Tambul Nebili Electorate also received a portable sawmill to build a new high school. The two recipients promised they will work hard to finish the school but said they still need financial support. Vasinata Yama, National MTV News, Mount Hagen.